Yip, yip, yip. Yippee, yay. Yeah, so what's going on? Oh, my gosh. You guys are on fire tonight. The chat room is just going crazy. Howdy. Hey. Howdy. Hey, Samo, what's going yes, on? Yes, Samo's in the chat room. Sandy Fisher, the most Brenda beautiful baby. woman in the entire world. Oh, Mr. Dave. Lee Godfrey. What's going on? Nightcrawler. Yeah, Nightcrawler. Look at all these famous people. I know. Sir Shithead has graced us with his presence this evening. <laughs> <laughs> the Daves are here. Uncle Lee? Yes, Mr. Lee Godfrey. What's where's Lee? Larry? Yeah, where's Uncle We're Larry? We're just missing Larry. What's Sandy going on Fisher with Shannon's here. She's driving though tonight. I got some old trucking tunes for Uncle Larry. Brenda too. slipped out a swear word in the chat room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I'm sitting in Brady, Nebraska, just east of North Platte, looking at the snow on the ground. So yesterday I made first yellow snow of the season. Did you write your name? And Joyce is listening too. Hi, Joyce. Samo, how can you not hear us? No audio. 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 We're here. Don't worry about that. All righty. Very good. Sir Shithead, what's going on, mister? Okay, Saturday night full of country. We got uh, a couple tunes from our guest coming up <laughs> on... Uh, Sir Shithead ain't got very much brains in his head. He says, I'm good. I just got up and I've got a dumb headache. And he I goes see. and chooses to listen to the Yankee and the Brit show. Well, that'll fix only it. only going to get worse for I got you, news for you. I just took some aspirin because I can't stand listening to me either. Shelby Lee Lowe is going to be our guest uh, next to Saturday? On Saturday the 26th and the 27th. That's next Saturday, right? Yeah, and on the 27th we have Jacqueline Seymour coming on the show. Oh my God, and, uh, what a hoot. She's a bundle of fun. She's great. We like her. So anyways, uh, got a couple tunes lined up from him and then uh, just some good stuff. Some old trucking tunes, some old country. Uh, I found all kinds of Shell Rotella tape songs and thingies the whole friggin list from every one of them so hey so nightcrawl had might a just do a show devoted to that pretty soon what? to what to the shell rotella tea tapes i swear i just saw a mozzie in the corner of your screen down there you're seeing things keep an eye out cheeks. for that little bastard there it's a fly there he goes fucking fly <laughs> no it's a mozzie look ah fucker he's still around now tell here. me again what sh what we're gonna have a show dedicated to get that zika fucking spreading bastard Shell Rotella Tea, I've said like six times. Shelly Telly Tea. Shell Rotella Tea. What the fuck is a Cheryl Rotella Tea? It's not a Cheryl anything, and you're so fucking young you don't know anything. Now go <gasps> curl up in a ball somewhere and let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the face. <laughs> <laughs> Now look. There he is again, you mm. little bastard. Wait, Nightcrawler said he had a birthday and he wasn't around. He got nervous. What? What do you, you mean? Because it was your birthday you left? Is that what you're was saying? Was you worried that you might have had a special song of the Yankee and the Brit? Well, I just won't sing huh? no damn song. Fuck him. We'll just have <laughs> our fun and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, screw you, Nightcrawler. All right. Uh, he heard, I heard your promo last week, Nightcrawler. Yeah, Sounded come good. here, little sis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have that here in a little bit again. Oh, my God. We must be really good because Sir Shithead said that we are making his headache better. It's Earl. Ergen Earl. Ergen Ergen Earl. We used to have a guy we used to call Lion Earl all the time. Lion Earl! Lion Earl! Here comes fucking Lion Earl! Baby doll! What's up, Cheryl? Cheryl's in the chat room. Mrs. Uh, Dave! Look, yes, Mrs. Dave. The bar queen. What's going on? Looks like yeah. the cold weather is bringing everybody. Christine Lewis into the was show. here too. Did she leave already? There she is. She is. Hi, Math Christine. Almighty is there. All is right with the world when Math Almighty is in the chat room. You know, she took time to sing us a little song for a Saturday night. So, show. Samo, you can hear us through the headphones, but not through the speakers. Is that what's going on over there? You got a grip on it? I mean, it's hard to do a show knowing you're not listening. Just not right. I need somebody to critique me. Shut that fucking echo up. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, snothead, or shithead. Oh, there's a difference, huh? Okay. So what well, we got anyways. lined up for tonight, then? Absolutely nothing? I fucking said it like three times, and you're too busy running that freaking yarn What, shitty, tilly, tilly, tilly. I said we got a couple tunes from Shelby, who's going to be on the Ooh, show with yes. us next Saturday. Yes, yes, and yes. And just some tr old trucking tunes. Ain't he a handsome I found a couple man. for Larry to jam on, but there's no Larry. Somebody see if they can get a hold of Larry. Go on, so now la go, go into Larry's chat and drag him in by his ears. Drag him in by his Peter. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, give his, give his Peter a good pull. 
I wanted to tell him I tried out his paint sprayer too. Did it work? Me. Yeah. <laughs> All righty then. It's okay. It sprays. But uh, I know it just uh, it's a, it's a whole different little gig. It, you you saw it sprays like stringy paint, you know? What yeah. I mean? And then I brushed it out, so it, it works. It applies the paint a lot easier than brushing everything. But still had to brush it all in. Very strange. Very strange spray gun the way it works. It's called a roto thing or something, roto sprayer maybe. But it's got a corkscrew up the middle of a tube that draws the paint in, and then I just slings it back and forth or something. I don't know. Very strange. But uh, it did what it needed to do. That was the main thing. <laughs> yeah, Saved me told, going out and renting one. He told me to record him, uh, record him doing it, and it just pebble dashed the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the phone didn't look too good after that. But it did what it was supposed to do. So Dave has had some news today. You should call in and tell us about your news, Mr. Dave. Um, hasn't he? His, uh... hmm? Yeah, you must call in. I'm chewing on a... I can't remember what your news is. Over here. Oh, the peanut M&M. Oh, baby. Rotella is Injun Earl. <laughs> You're right, it is. I just figured that out. Now I get it. Mm. That poor boy's got some issues over there. All right. Well, anyways, I guess we'll do some jamming. That Ghost Rider in the Sky is from that movie, Ghost Rider in the Sky, with Nicolas Cage. Anybody ever watch that? Kind of a strange movie, but... I don't know. I kind of liked it. It was all right, I guess. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyways, let's move on here. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Seymour, international recording artist, producer, author from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm saying hello to everyone on the Yankee and the Brit Show. All right, Rabbit. Where's Rocky? Where is he hiding? He's not in this stove. Oh, ho, he's hiding in the stove, eh? Would I turn on the gas if he was in there? Hmm, you might, Travis, you might. Well, uh, would I throw a lighted match in there if he was in there? Oh, no, you don't! Take me with you. Don't take me with you. I confess. I did it. I did it. Arrest me. Arrest me. Yankee and a Brit in the RTM Radio, Radio Network. Network. What's going on, everybody? Hi, Dale-O. Dale-O Donna is are you, in dude? our chat room. Hey. That's right, he is. And Silji is here. How are... Our princess from Norway. The princess? <laughs> yes, your the highness. queen of Norway. Hello, your highness. <laughs> With the green sky. That's a good old classic rock tune, though, there, shithead. I like that. Samo was trying to get used to watching TV and listening to the radio on my tablet because I will be staying at a motel three nights a week in December due to the big Orlando job. Guess I'll listen on tab, but can't get the chat on my droid tablet. You've got all kinds of issues over there. And then he had clam chowder for dinner. And he doesn't even like it. Samo is jamming out tonight with his clam out. He jammed out without his clam out. <laughs> <laughs> He's the man. He yeah, is you'll the have man. that, though. Damn. Uh, excuse me. Goodness gracious. Are you glad to get that out of your system, my love? Oh, my God, I feel better. Oh, Samo said it right there. Okay, jamming out with my clam out in the studio. He yeah. is. <laughs> yes, sir. Way to be. Alrighty then, uh, let's do a little tribute to Dale, shall we? Yes. Dale, Dale, he's Dale O'Donner and he wants you to go home. Dale, he's a 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 Dale. He's Dale O'Donner and he wants to go home. Toke all night on a doobie and rub He's Dale O'Donner and he want to go home Post of silly, post of Donna Rodeo He's still O'Donner and he want to go home Come Mr. Randy Man, bring Dale a banana He's still O'Donner and he want to go home Come Mr. Randy Man, bring Dale a banana He's still O'Donner Six inch, seven inch, eight inch, oh! He's still O'Donnell and he wanna go home. Six inch, seven inch, eight inch, no! He's still O'Donnell and he wants to go home. Dale-o! Oh, Dale-o! He's still O'Donnell and he wanna go home. Dale! 
He's a Dale, he's a Dale, he's a Dale. Dan, he won a go-go. Beautiful Dan with a ripe banana. He's Dale, oh Dan, and he won a go-go. Hide the deadly big bad banana. He's Dale, oh Dan, and he won a go-go. Six inch, seven inch, eight inch, oh! He's still old, darling, and he wanna go home. Six inch, seven inch, eight inch, no! He's still old, darling, yes, he wants to go home. Dale-o! He's Dale-o! He's still old, darling, and he wanna go home. Dale-o! He's a Dale, he's a Dale, he's a Dale-o! She's done all day and she wanna go home. Come, Mister Yankee Pants, done a banana. She's done all day and she wanna go home. Dale, Dale. She's done all day and she wants to go home. Dale, he's a 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 Dale. Dale O'Donner and he wants to go home. Unbelievable, wife. I was just sitting here thinking to myself, I wonder, Christ, it's been quite a while since we did that song. It was. I was in England. And you, you wrote it Texas. right in there. It's like, you get out of my head. <laughs> three years. Has it been three years? Really? It, must, it must be closer to four, you know. Don't you remember? I was sat on my sofa singing along and... Wow. Hard to believe. I was all the way in England when I started that song. And these guys are talking about all these uh, marijuana laws that passed and stuff. And here's Texas just sitting here like a bump on a log. Fucking goopy fucking backwoods sons of bitches, I swear to God. It's like everything is fucking 40 years behind the times over here. You know, and I don't, I don't smoke anymore. I don't think I do. <laughs> But and I would like to see it. Fart. I would like to see it. I would like to. <laughs> anyway, you're dragging your uh, arse across the floor like a dog with worms. I would like to see <laughs> You make it. the carpet smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you could talk now. Shut up, long face. <laughs> I would like it to be legal, though, because I would like to go get a doob every once in a while and just have a couple hits and see what it's like now, now that I'm older and haven't had it in a long time. But no, you know, and I just don't want to. It's just not worth the hassle of doing it while it's illegal. It's just not worth it, you know. If you get, I'm just sitting here in my own fucking house, you know. Fuck you, none of your business. I should be able to do what I want, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen, you know. All it takes is somebody to say something or me to mention it, and somebody to say it doesn't take much. It's just not worth it. I really wish they'd just get off their dead asses, you know, and just make it legal everywhere. What the fuck is the big deal? You know, it's better for you than alcohol. You don't wake up with a hangover. I don't buy that bullshit it fucks with your brain. I mean, I smoked the hell out of that shit when I was young, and I don't think too retarded. So I just don't understand what it's all about. Crazy. Yeah, she's real funny. Hard to fucking <laughs> I still keep hard. thinking about it now. Can you imagine Randy with his, uh, with his, with his hands in between <laughs> his legs, <laughs> supporting the weight of his arse and his legs <laughs> while he scratches his butt? Scratch that worms, You're not baby. Funny, long face. <laughs> Caesar will kick your ass. Ah, he wouldn't dream of it. He loves me. No. But you're right, shithead. It's only legal if you get caught. That's how it works. I I used to... I mean, I'll tell you what. We smoked the fuck out of that shit. We'd get paper grocery bags. You know, and not the small, chintzy things they have today, but a full, big old friggin' grocery bag, like one every few days, full of homegrown. And shit was awesome. We smoked that, go right through that bitch in a day. Next day, right back at it again. No, I don't smoke socks. <laughs> Look, you got him. Uh... I can't even get my hand to smoke anymore. <laughs> hey, Lee, you got the video of him doing the uh, Ministry of Silly Walks. <laughs> <laughs> did he see that? I don't know. Hope not. I <laughs> Freaking <bet he> ridiculous. <laughs> did. Uh, sex is best high. You know what? Back in the day, man, it was. It really was. It was good. It was all good. Get a good buzz on, you know. And I tried some acid and <clears throat> all that other shit back in the day, you know, before I started driving truck and all that. Randy, you can grow cannabis and make paper. The night. You can't even grow that shit here. Are you serious? 
They just busted some guy the other day for like three plants or something. It's fucking stupid. Texas. That's it'd one make thing toilet about Texas, roll and man. then it'd stick it on the wrong way. That's one thing about Texas, man. These people are so fucking far behind at times. I will do that, Silgy. I will post that video right now. <sighs> A lot of things are good when you're high, though, man. Brownies, not so cookies, icing, a nice tall cold glass of milk. It's all good, man. Uh, you know what? I tried to get her to do that, and she won't do it. What? Facebook Live, do live Facebook while we're doing the do show. I don't want to do it. And That's I'm not. I don't want to. Don't even bring it up again because I don't want to argue well, with it. Because I want to do it. it. No. Well, why Because it's then? no friggin' fun without you. Come I don't want to do it. You are part of this, and I don't want to do it without you. Well. Even one of these it. days, I'm going to plug that mouth up permanently, but... Told you I don't want to be on <laughs> pissing webcam. Oh, you poor little thing. Someone will see you. Exactly. <laughs> All your raging beauty over there, and you keep it hidden. There's the most beautiful woman in the world next to Sandy. Oh, Mrs. Jib Jab is Hi, in Becky. the chat room. How the hell are you? <whistles> now, she is one hot chickadee over there. How's Mr. Tim? God, you guys live too goddamn far away, you know? That really sucks. And we can't, I don't, we gotta go that way someday. Sometime before we shit the bucket. Or kick the bucket. Or shit in the bucket we kicked. Or kick the shit bucket or something like that. And we need to get to Tennessee. You'd love it over there, man. It's so freaking green and gorgeous over there. It would probably make you think of England in some places. The rolling hills and green and, I don't know. Did you like that about England? All that green everywhere? Yeah, I loved all that. It was just yeah. the people. Well, that's one thing I miss about living in Tennessee was all the green. Oh, my God, the green was just like, oh, yes. You know, when you over on the west end of the state, you get out there in the cotton fields and these little two-lane back roads and green and then a big old white sheet of cotton balls. Uh, just friggin' gorgeous. Just love it. Do it now. <laughs> Sam nailed that one, didn't he? After I just don't want to do it. Bandy wants to do it, he can do it. I don't want to do it by myself, though. It's just not the same. <laughs> Hidden Tennessee on fire. <laughs> yeah, so is North Carolina and South Carolina. And, you know, the wrong places are burning, though. It ought to be like friggin' Jersey and, and New York and, you know, some places like that should be burning. New Zealand. Donna said New Zealand's still having some of those uh, little earthquakes going on over there. Well, I said the aftershocks. You know, yeah, the but shakes, still, that's, yeah. Uh, you know, aftershocks, whatever you want to call them. And but. there's still buildings coming down in Wellington, according to my friend in New Zealand. You know, the thing is, it's still rattling over there. Man, it's been yeah. like, what, a week now? Over a week? Yeah. Yeah, that's insane, right. man. I hope them people are all right over there. Donna's got a couple friends over there. Did we have somebody? We used to have, we had somebody from New Zealand on the show a few times, didn't we? Not as a guest, but I mean Ken. in the chat. Ken yeah. Jones, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I haven't heard from him in a while. John Chico. Mr. Chico Chico is in the chat room. Are you actually a policeman then, John? We want to know what you do now. I can't get Facebook Live to work. Well, you know, I don't another reason I don't like Facebook Live is you know where whenever whenever we've watched um Facebook live videos. Me and Randy have never been able to watch a complete one without it crashing. Am I right, here? It you mean just, when we tried to do it? Well, no, when we view somebody's video, when we view someone's... Oh, I've, well, yeah, but I've been Facebook able to view live. more. But remember when we tried it in the beginning, when it first came out, and it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't yeah. even stay running. And I don't know if that's our internet's not good enough or... In the computer webcam, right, it's right up there. And when it points down, it points right down at my tits. And I'm sorry, guys, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> And it doesn't point at your tits; it points at my bald pecker head. And you know, me and I said, me and Randy seen this guy a few weeks ago. Um, he was doing a radio show, and he had it on as a live Facebook video. And uh, all you could see was him kind of bopping his head from the left to the side, and you know, it actually took away for me. I don't know about Randy. Do you know who I'm talking about? What? We watched a video of a guy doing a radio show couple of weeks ago and he was and we could see up his nose and everything oh yeah that was kind of disgusting. yeah and um and it just kind of took away for me the uh i like listening to people and using my imagination and to to work out the setting what they're doing and pissing around but when you actually see them and you just realize they're just kind of sat there like john said no he's a firefighter he's a firefighter oh when you said ff oh i didn't realize that's what you meant my job, my son Brandon just became a full-fledged firefighter. Uh, what last Be year? Quiet, Mr. Back. Godfrey. 
How long ago did Brandon get uh, get his badge and stuff? Wasn't uh, very long about ago. four months ago, isn't it? Proud little son of a bitch. I was tickled to death of him, too, boy. He's just so proud. And his uniform and his hat, and it all looked too big on him, but he looked cute as hell. <laughs> Good looking kid there, anyways. All right. Uh, Bubba and Cooter Lub. Yeah, they do. Christ, I forgot all about Bubba and Cooter. I ain't heard nothing from them in a while. Yeah, and Bubba and Cooter. Why don't you Cooter, get Bubba and they Cooter love to my do tits. the Why don't you get uh, Bubba and Cooter to do the weather sometime? Yeah, we need a Bubba and Cooter weather. <laughs> yeah, Bubba and Cooter just love my big boobies. Oh, wouldn't they, though? Those two. They, yeah, as a matter of fact, they did mention that, didn't they? They did. Unbelievable. All right, then. Well, anyways, speaking of weather, from the man with the plan, the one we can all stand, he's the coolest in the land, Samo. Whether the weather be cold, whether the weather be hot, whatever the weather, I got the weather, whether you like it or not. Good evening, Randy and Donna. Here's a look at your Saturday night Bells, Texas area seven day weather forecast. Clear skies this evening, low at 33, winds in the east at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, sunny and clear, high of 63, low of 42. Monday, sunny and clear, high of 71, low of 57. Tuesday, an 80% chance of rain and thunderstorms, high of 69, low of 47. Wednesday, sunny and clear, high of 65, low of 41. Thursday, sunny and clear, high of 67, low of 45. And for Friday, sunny and clear, high 66, low of 48. Currently outside the RTM radio studios, the barometric pressure's at 30.49. No cloud cover. Winds in the northeast at 2. Humidity 50%. And under clear skies, it's 44 degrees. From the 96.7 FM South Net 1 Weather Center in Daytona, I'm Sam o. Now let's put the cut back in country with Randy and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. Yes, sir. Thank you, Samo. Uh, John Chico, you said in Ohio. What's in Ohio? He doesn't live in Ohio, does he? No, he's, um, he's, well, tell us where you are, Mr. Chico. What you, Chico, what, I've well, forgotten I'm now. curious what he means by in Ohio. You were a fighter fighter in Ohio? Or are you, you know, because my son's from Ohio, or is that what you're talking I'm confused. Just one word from you guys, and I'm off. We're way past that already. Uh, right, so anyways, uh. Let's see. What was I going to say? I don't know. I was curious what you meant by Ohio. It's funny how that just kind of popped up like that. Oh, righty then. Uh, let's see. Right here. Punch, Punch her in the cooter. cooter. I don't give a damn. damn. There you go. There's some cooter for you. Hope you're happy. Uh, let's see then. Right. Uh, boy, <laughs> Joe, blah, blah, blah. Look at this what? picture Silgy sent. I sent her the video. I sent her your <laughs> video of Ministry of Silly Walks. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> You know that comes from Faulty Towers, don't you? you well, I, no, it comes from no. Monty Python. Yeah, sorry, yeah, the same guy, isn't it? Remember the job interview? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. That's the coolest sign ever, right there. I need one of those. I gotta make one of those and put them outside somewhere. <laughs> I'm serious. Save me. Go back to that and save it for it's me. It's in my chat with from Silver. Okay, cool. Because I gotta, <laughs> I gotta have that. Exactly, yeah, Samo. Me and Randy, we have the perfect. Perfect faces for radio. We just love to hide behind these microphones. Well, I do anyway. You know, Randy, he's like, yeah, stick the camera on. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, what the hell? I'm a toothless fucking bald-headed pecker. It's a little late to hide it now. Now, now we used to be on webcam All right, Lee Godfrey, sleep well, lad. Shut up, I'm talking. Then me too over here. I said we like sometimes talks over you used time? to be on webcam I know you can't stand for it, about six but hours I like to do it a it day. You. <laughs> didn't we we'd be on webcam for about six I didn't hear a hours fucking a word day. you said i was talking you wish, you won't shut up and let me talk silence <sighs> now go on <laughs> <laughs> fuck you don't want to talk now <laughs> anyway you should get on that promo that we were, that you made earlier you know with the little clown music you're talking about eric's no um the one for jacqueline yeah yeah you should put on her little promo Oh, well, I, we'll get to that. I just, you know, we can't just sit here and play little noisy things all night long, yes, can we? Yes, let's press noisy things. Buttons, buttons, press buttons. You're pushing mine. You're listening to the Yankee and Brit from the RTM Network. RTM Radio Network. R RTM Radio Network, okay. Three, two, one. You're listening to the Yankee and the Brit show from the... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do the bloopers. Read the script. Donna's holding it up for you. The, 
said the RTL, was it? R- RTM. RTM, okay. Which is short for Ran the Man. So RTM Radio Network. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. You're listening to the Yankee and the Brit Show from the RTM Network Radio Show. I, I know I messed it up. Oh, we know. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's got to be it's got to be the mix of the kids and the blonde dyed and seeping into my brain. That's got to be it. <laughs> I can't imagine what it would be otherwise. <laughs> You're listening to the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Awesome. Okay, I'll definitely do that. All right, three, two, one. You're listening to the Yankee and the Brit Show on the RTM Radio Network. Success! Puncher in the cooter, I don't give a damn. Hey, the Yankee and the Brit and the RTM Radio Network. I didn't even know Randy was out of the house. The song just ended and I just uh, looked around thinking, why isn't he pressed that mic button? And he's not even in here. Sat here eating my, uh, what are the wheat thins? Not taking any notice as to what's going on around me. So uh, what is everybody doing with their week? I want to know all about your week and what is your Sunday traditions? Do you guys have like a Sunday roast or anything? Because, you know, me and Randy was talking last week about um, about how I would love to go to a carvery in Derby. Um, I just absolutely love them. You get, like, a choice of, like, three meats, um, and the meat is just cooked so nice. And they slice it up for you, give you a Yorkshire pudding and a nice big blob of stuffing. And then you go off and choose your vegetables and stuff. But it's just so nice. It's so yummy. And, um, and the gravy is just amazing. Um, and you don't have to bother about cooking, which is the coolest bit ever, ever. Um, but I wanted to know, you know, do you guys do anything on a Sunday? Do you have any traditions? You know, in the UK, it's kind of tradition that families kind of get together on a Sunday and, uh, you know, they have a roast dinner and they have the whole work, you know, vegetables. Now, I don't see a lot of people eating many vegetables over here. It's kind of like shock, shock, horror, horror. You know, people put together all these big meals, but they don't have no vegetables. Kind of crazy. John Rooney, the clock is going off on the wall as we speak. Oh, look, we have over here loaded up pontoon for Mr. Chico Chico. I'm going to get that on right now. Oh, go on, tell them. You're not going to be happy till you do. <laughs> no, we're just laughing at Randy's cake. I bought these fucking cupcakes. <laughs> oh, my God. These things got like three inches of friggin' icing on top of them. And they're in this little plastic. Everybody, ha- what the fuck is with everybody's got to waste plastic? Plastic containers, plastic this, plastic that. <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> we brought them out to the car and bring them home, and they all <laughs> fell over inside the container, so they're all fucking glued together one big these, massive <laughs> cake cupcake mix thing and the colors on them are like and luminous. it's got fluorescent <laughs> frosting on them you know there's this fluorescent green and fluorescent pink and blue <laughs> and i'm eating a pink one right now and donna was just having a good laugh because i'm gonna be what i said he's gonna be shitting rainbows all week the toilet's <laughs> gonna look like he's had a clown masturbating in it <laughs> Except it is dirty dishwater in your toilet. <laughs> I'll be shitting confetti. <laughs> you are such an asshole. <laughs> we must say goodnight to Debra. Debra oh. is the, the Debra that holds the tits. She is in the chat room. Well, goodnight to the tits and Debra. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just. Well, that was a short stay. You just buggered off in there, and I didn't even know you went, and the song ended, and I was like, oh shit. I put some wood in the fire. <laughs> My feet are getting cold again. Boy, I'll tell you what, I'm going to sleep like a son of a bitch tonight with that nice hot fire burning in there. Boom, I'm going to be out while you try to wake me up all night complaining. Too fucking hot. I will be complaining. You know I'll be complaining. Oh, I love it hot like that, though. Oh, yes. I do too, but not the fire. All right, tell them about this next dude we're going to jam here. Yes, Shelby. Lee Lowe, he's going to be on the show with us on the 26th. Um, Now, he's got a lovely voice. He's got an amazing voice. You guys are going to love him, and hopefully we'll get a few more tunes out of him for that night that he comes on. Uh, 
So let's load up a few tunes. What you got for us, bitch? We got lined up right here Shelby Lee Low and Someday coming up with us uh, this next coming Saturday. 26th. On the RTM Radio Network. Check him out. Shelby Lee Low. Let's do one more from him. Hey, guys, look who is in the chat room. And I didn't even know how to say your name, Deary Jim Spiller. Derijim. Derijim. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's like both of the names. But anyway, yeah, um, we enough. saw them in Florida. They were sat on the table to the right of us um, when we did that show with Samo. So uh, yeah, it's nice to see oh, you. Oh right, you? okay yes. then, jolly good. Yeah. Well done. So we're on a bit of a Saturday country night thing over here. Uh, One more from Shelby Lee Lowe, just to yes. give you a good taste of what's coming up this coming weekend. Yes, sir. Uh, Deary Jim Spiller, uh, Shelby Lee Lowe, is joining us on the 26th of November. Next He's going to come live with us fact. on the show. Good stuff. Oh, it's been so cool. Yeah. This guy's got it going on, man. Love it. Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Brothers. Yes, sir. Houston, Yankee and the Britney RTM Radio, Radio Network. Radio Network. Whoa. 809 Saturday night doing it country style. Hey, maybe. look over there. Look, uh, what we got here? Deary Jim Spiller is out there training newbies, introducing her to some of my friends. Hi to Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hey, how you doing? Oh my gosh, she said she's gonna. I don't give envy a your job one bit, in buddy. The next few days. Well, Not a bit. Training newbies. Oh, I bet it's fun. What's with the hair? I know. I've got, I've got like <laughs> microphone hair. It's really cool. Headphone isn't it? hair. <laughs> 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 you look like a wayless wallers out of. Uh, never mind. Shall we play some Brad for Deary Jim? You're going to have to tell me what your name is. Is that how you. Am I even saying it right? Am I saying it right? I don't know. Deary Jim. I was just. You guessing. say it. I was saying it like an Australian. Deary Deary Jim. Deary Jim. Which made me think <laughs> of a Deary Jim. No, um, I know what you're thinking of. One of those. Yeah. Didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to tell us how to say your name. Might be now. easier to call him Didgeridoo. <laughs> call him Didgeridoo. Ah, uh, man, training newbies. Forget that. Thank you. Had that <clears> job <throat> once. Once. That was it. I couldn't take it, man. One dude, one kid, one time. <clears throat> Goodbye. Don't even want the headaches to go with it. I'd rather stay alive. Thank you. You must be a very patient man. Give you that. What are you laughing about over there now? Exactly. Is it? Are we talking? Are we talking to uh, to Jim or are we talking to Deary? Deary. Okay. Also, oh, we're talking to the lovely lady. Ah. Okay. <coughs> well, hello, Deary. <laughs> Hi, me, Deary. So, is it Deary Jim? I or think just Deary. I'm. I'm sure Jim. I'm is sure the Jim, Jim is silent. I'm sure Jim is her fella. I'm sure of a long time ago in the Facebook chat, you know, when I was young and good looking. Oh, this is her and him, their names together. Yes, well, why yeah. didn't you just say so? Yeah, once upon a time when I was young and good looking, I was trying to tell the story. I was talking to her in the Facebook chat about some T-shirts and things. And she right. said that uh, I'm sure she says that they share the same Facebook account name or something. Okay, what is Deary short for? What is Deary short for? Why do you ask Well, her? I could have asked her. <sighs> I just wasn't asking you in particular, I guess. I don't know. I'm just curious. I like to know these quite, things. Quite a, ne quite a pretty name, actually, Deary. Yeah, absolutely. Anything that's different is pretty. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> hi, Lisa. Oh, yeah. shithead said that. Keep both hands on the wheel and both ears on the Yankee and the Brit. You'll yes, right. that's right. Jill, I'm still home recouping because I'm crazy. <laughs> it's short for nothing. <laughs> I'm hey, short for nothing, too, but I didn't used to be. You'll get that eventually. Mm. All right. Well, then, Deary and Jim. Deary Jim. Oh, my Deary. But she is here tonight because Jim is still home. So that answers everything. Now it all makes sense. And she is off the chart crazy. Well, there you go, then. I guess out there training somebody about it. But she's with another woman, so you know, what the hell? Be fine. It's like Thelma and Louise on the road with Deary and Lisa. I bet you're driving an automatic, so that makes it and easier. Shannon's right? still there with Joyce, and Math Almighty's still tuned in, but Hello, she's a bit Shannon. quiet in the chat room. I know. Um, I'm so ready to go to sleep, man. And that fire in there, oh, that heat is just, man, just walking in there makes me want to lay down. Oh, walking in there just makes me want to stay in here. <laughs> it's just so hot in there. 
Oh my gosh. I'm such a skank. I'm gonna be sweating like a whore in church later on, you know. Now I see am. I clicked on it this time, it wouldn't even play. Fred, Your choice is country, country music, the RTM Radio Network. What'd you say? I cut you off. Dad, Brenda's still there. Midnight Holler, Razzy Bailey. Alabama by request for Shannon, who's out there trucking around the country someplace. Who's on the telephone? Who, who is on the phone? Who's on my telephone? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? Oh, you guys bitch, you want me to call in, so I'm calling in. We didn't want you to call in. Mouth Almighty wanted you to call in. Yeah, Mouth Almighty. It's always Mouth Almighty. Yeah. I blame oh, her. I God Almighty. Blame her every time. <laughs> yep. So what's your latest news then, Dave? I hear you have some good news to tell us. Well, we uh, finished, uh, finalized the deal last night on the bar, so we are officially owners of it. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll be relocating across the highway behind the Flying J. Uh, details will come up on that, and Randy, you know why. I ain't paying that bitch that kind of money. That's right. <laughs> That's my boy right there. <laughs> yep. Uh, so we'll be relocating. Hopefully, um, they think they can have us open in a month. I think it's a long shot. I'm shooting probably two months, maybe ten weeks. I would say, man, I can't imagine. In a week? Seriously? No way. No, ten. Uh, I'm saying ten weeks. Ten they weeks. think a month, but I don't think it can happen. Oh, a month. Nah, you know, if you got about 15 guys on the crew, yeah, but I don't see it otherwise. Not going to happen. Yeah. Other than that, it's colder than a son of a bitch up here. It's hard to believe. We were driving up here yesterday, 75 degrees, running the air conditioner, and today we got the feet on. Yeah, I know. I started the fire for the first time this this year, this morning. Screw that. Not impressed. Yeah, right now it's, it's cold real feel outside, 19 degrees. It's cold. It's 19? That's what the real feel is. The wind has just been brutal. It's been windy all day. Yeah. I know. I guess I saw you guys got some storms coming up there. A lot of lake effect snow in a few places. Uh, Yeah, but we've, you know, here in the Toledo area, you don't really get the uh, lake effect. That's over. Yeah, that's over on you the know east how end. That is East Cleveland over to Erie and Buffalo. Oh, my old stomping grounds. Either four feet of snow or four inches, just depending on which side of the line you were on on what day. Oh yeah, it'd be. I remember when we lived up in Cleveland. My first wife and I, we would, we lived in Parma, and it would. You, you like drove through an invisible wall. One minute you're on asphalt, and the next minute you're asshole deep in snow. And it usually happened just about the time you crossed the Fire River. Yep, just incredible how it worked. Did you wear white socks? I have white socks on right now. Do you, have, do you have sandals on, Dave? Come I'm, on, you can tell us. I meant when, tell anyone. No, I meant when no, you lived, I ain't got no sandals on. I meant when you lived in Parma. <laughs> oh, I don't shit, Randy. I always wore white socks. Oh, it's just now my my my, dry, my new white socks. They have an R for the right foot and an L for the left, so I know which one to put on right. <laughs> If you buy, <laughs> you think you think I'm bullshitting you? My socks no. have an R and L on them. I believe you. Believe me. I could I could believe that for Dave. You know, Dave can't put no work into um, working out which goes on which foot. You need to buy those <laughs> diabetic socks because you just pull them on and it don't matter which way they go. Yeah. Now, other than that, that's that's the news. Um, Truck and Bozo's Bar and Grill will soon be up and running. We. Uh, Bought the domain last night. We didn't built the website yet, but we went in and grabbed the domain before some fool does and wants three thousand dollars for it. Yeah, don't you hate that shit, crooked little bastards pulling that kind of crap? Oh yeah, somebody did it to us on the uh, truckersgonewild.com, dot com, and I think they're wanting like three thousand dollars for it. Yeah, back in the early or mid nineties, I lost uh, three or four different domain names. They went to expire, and the, the second, I swear, the second they expired, somebody bought them up. Sony was one of them, stole one of our names, little bastards. Yeah. So, uh, other than awesome. that, no more news to tell. It's so what, just cold, and God. So does Mrs. We'll Dave. Home, go ahead, sorry. We'll head home tomorrow and be back up here probably a week after Thanksgiving. 
Does Mrs. Dave have all the colors picked out for inside, the colors of the seats and everything? No, no. She will. No. <laughs> what kind of food are you going to be doing at your uh, at your grill, Mr. Dave? Uh, well, it's steak, um, let's see, chicken wings, poppers, think your typical bar food. Stop, stop, stop. What did he say? Poppers. 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 What's poppers? Yeah. Better explain. They're deep. Deep fried, jalap- deep fried jalapeno and cream cheese. Oh, as soon as I heard the word deep fried, I was like, <laughs> You got to do a good old fashioned uh, uh, bozo burger basket or something like that. Oh, yeah, we'll be putting that stuff together. You got to do a nice a Sunday of, yeah. roast for me, you know, Yorkshire puddings and things and all the trimmings. Oh, they... Christ. Yes, he has. Yeah, shit, shit that these redneck truckers don't know what is. Yeah, exactly. Truck drivers don't eat that stuff. Give me a greasy burger. If it ain't running down my sleeve, it ain't any good. I I just did. Shut up. Stick your ass, fuck. I did. Swear, I bet Dave's smoking as well right now. He bet he stinks as just as bad as you do. (sighs) No, ain't no smoking tonight. It's too fucking cold to stand out there and smoke. (laughs) Do you you get booted outside then, Dave? No, he's at a hotel. No, I I came out here to the lobby because it's it's the band's playing right now. Ah, oh, yeah, you're out. You're away, aren't you? I forgot. Yeah. Wow, that's so, too cold, man. Forget that. Yeah, yeah too cold. We're up here. We've got a, got a couple of our trucker buddies that's already pulled in for the night. I think Mark State's going to try and swing in. Um, so, yeah, we got people popping in saying hi. You better have somebody go out there and dig those holes in that ground before it freezes. Well... No. You ain't putting no signs yeah. up in ice. <laughs> no. Myth, Math no, Almighty it, asked, is there going to be some truck parking at the new site? Uh, not as much. Very little truck parking there. Uh, we're going to get a golf cart and run people back and forth. Uh, we're right behind the Flying J. So they can park at the Flying J, give us a holler, somebody run over with the golf cart, pick them up, run them back and forth. I hope you got heat in it. Uh, that's going to be a problem in the winter. Dave, come and pick me up. Actually, we're consider- actually we're going to probably consider getting like a shuttle van. That way, we can hit the all all four truck stops here in the area. Oh, there you go. Now you're talking. Woo, that's fancy stuff. Yeah, they just call us. Um, you know, hey, I'm I'm over here at the TA. Come pick me up, or I'm at the Pilot, or the Petro, or the Flying J. Wow, well, you're gonna have to get some cranky old man to drive the bus. Yeah, and you need mm-hmm. some, and you need some fancy new signs. What do you think, Randy? I don't know. <laughs> so, but other than that, that's the news. That's other a, than nothing else new to tell you. That's a good start. Yes, congratulations. Everything's yeah. going well. Yeah, tell Sam to give us a uh, Toledo, Ohio weather update. Yes, uh, Samo, if you're still there, put in the put in the Toledo, Ohio uh, zip code. Cold, and see if you can frozen get a weather report. Or you could just do one like Dave is freezing off his nuts, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I guess until uh, next time, I guess say bye to me. Goodbye to me. Thanks bye for the update. Me. Say bye to me, Dave. Bye to me. Hey, Ethel, where's that cat? Caesar Jacks. Damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, Chrissy. I do miss Caesar and Ethel Jacks. I miss them badly some days. We turned into them, didn't we? (laughs) For a little while, damn it. We are the Caesar and Ethel Jacks. I don't know why, but it happens. (laughs) Goddamn people. So how's Chrissy tonight? Yeah, Chrissy's in the chat room. It's Cold Shannon. and snowy. Damn, I am so glad I don't live up there anymore. I am so friggin' happy. Rose-colored glasses. Now, why does that sound familiar? John Lee Conley, right? Or John Conley, I mean? Yeah. Blah, 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 that dude. Okay. Uh, Shannon's after uh, staple. I staple know Shannon's got requests every night, 10 or 15 of them. <laughs> <laughs> And we just happen to have hers right here, the right RTM here, Radio right Network. Now. That's right. And don't forget, I say again, don't you know, that uh, Jacqueline Seymour is going to be with us on Sunday. Sunday. And 
and Shelby Lee Low. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Shelby Lee Low will be with us on Saturday the 26th. Shelby don't be low. Shelby be high. Be high. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby be cool. He's got some bad music, man. We he previewed has. some of that stuff a little earlier. That's some great. awesome stuff. Awesome. So anyways, Jacqueline Seymour is going to be here on Sunday. She is a hoot, man. You guys are going to get a kick out of this shit. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Seymour, international recording artist, producer, and author of children's books. And I'm happy to be on the Yankee and the Brit show on November 27th, 8 Central and 9 o'clock Eastern Time. By request, Chris Stapleton. Some of that old... Ah, I could fuck up you... and piss up in a brewery. <laughs> you assholes got me on live, really? Yes, we have. Yes, these assholes... <laughs> <laughs> These assholes got that asshole on live. Come we're, on. we're the Yankee and the Brit. What do you want? Well, uh, well, since I'm on live, uh, right there, uh, I know my wife is listening to you all, and uh, I want to give out thanks to my wife uh, that's been uh, carrying on the, uh, the the trucking out here. This isn't a dedications married. line, you know. <laughs> it ain't dedication. Well, well, I will make it just a little bit, just a little bit. I want to appreciate her uh, picking up the slack, uh, me sitting at home. <laughs> <laughs> you gagging? Really? You gagging already? I am gagging. <laughs> this isn't this isn't the late night love station. Are you, <laughs> Are you sure? You're playing her song. Come on now. You gotta be gagging a little. I promise you. <laughs> Alright, finish, finish what we were saying so we can get rid of y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, well, just thanks to the wife for uh, taking on for uh, what I've been, uh, you know, home on and uh, everything she's been doing. You can't get that so big. That's what the kind you are. <laughs> uh, but uh, sitting here at home, uh, sitting here uh, watching Full Metal Jacket. And for you all, uh, the die has it, uh, Liz, watch uh, my uh, personal page. Uh, go on there and with why be watching a full metal jacket. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to get very political on here. All I'm asking, I've been watching CNN and Fox News here of our president elect Donald Trump with a lot of the protests that's going on. I just give uh, Americans out here, your listeners and all, and my listeners all here, just one thing. Donald Trump here is for change. The true definition of insanity here in the United States is a repeat, in my opinion, and my personal uh, experience is uh, uh, insanity is doing the same stuff, expecting different results. We need results here in the United States, and I think our president-elect Donald Trump is going to do it. So uh, I hope everybody has an open mind about it and uh, just an open heart and uh, go with it. Uh. <laughs> I just uh, fucking shot, shot myself. myself. Just keep open mind. Free your mind and the rest will follow. That's all I can say. Since when I did you say. decide to get into politics? Well, I, I, well uh, I'm 39 year old. I'm fixing to turn 40. This is the first time that I've ever voted in a presidential election in my entire life. Go ahead. And uh, I, I, everybody day. says that you don't have a right to bitch or complain uh, unless you vote upon what your Republicans are doing, your the Democrats are doing, your House of Representatives are doing, or hearing your own state are doing if you don't cast your vote. And that's why I'm bestowing up everybody. Like it, if you don't like what our future president elect Donald Trump is doing, you have the right to vote him out. I'm speaking my mind and the peace on this right here. I've seen a lot of disbelief and stuff in Trump. All the protests uh, with Trump throughout in the major cities here. Oh, and, oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's awesome. I, I do not firmly believe that he's here to harm us or hurt us in any way. He's here. If you are here legally, then you have nothing to worry about. How do we quit if him you off? are here illegally, then it is a thing to worry about. But that is the thing. That's the thing. That's all I can say. Just free your mind and the rest will follow. I don't want to get too political here on y'all's show and et cetera, et cetera, but I'm kind of on one of them. Yeah. 
playing a courageous tonight and uh rocking uh oh well, should i say a country rock and rolling here saturday night here on the yankee the bridge show been a pretty damn good show so far and uh, i'm looking forward to uh, future shows with you all now are y- y'all doing anything for thanksgiving now what are you all doing for thanksgiving you got family coming over fuck no fuck them assholes <laughs> Family. What? Seriously? Family? We like visitors, but we love it more when they fuck off home. <laughs> uh, well, I'll buy that for a dollar. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to say be able to say F off to my relatives because I'm actually looking forward to this. I've been home uh, uh, for five, six weeks out of the truck, and uh, I'll be crawling back in the truck Tuesday with the wife going out to Tucson where I'm going to meet Sir Shithead Needlebender from the Big Rig Resort Radio CB shop and Zane, the owner of the shop. They're all coming down to the wife's uh, mom and aunts in Tucson, and I'm looking forward to a big feast and Quite frankly, I don't know how it's going to end. They're bringing deep fryers. We're going to deep fry turkey. We're going to deep fry ham. And hell, 40, you know, we're probably going to deep fry a little bit of whiskey. Oh, you should grill it. It will taste so you're much gonna better. Deep, you're going to deep fry that turkey and whiskey? Damn. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Uh uh, of course, you know, all of them are a bunch of great guys out there, but you all doing. Hey, let's talk about you all for just a second. What are you all doing for Thanksgiving? That's it. Nothing. Mom and Pop are buying dinner, and that's it. You sound like my dad. Buying dinner, because I'm not going to be at home. Uh, my mom is actually going to cook, but my dad hey, hey, said hey, hey. he's going. Hey, I thought, what? You, I thought you said you're talking about us now. <laughs> well, I am talking about you. Come on now, it's a, it, it's the point of of giving. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, I gave my thanks. I'm thankful they're buying dinner. <laughs> hey, you know what? And they'll I be spoken. grateful that I'm giving wind. <laughs> <laughs> giving wind? Is it at the other end? I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, it'd be button burps. Yeah, and mine's gonna look like confetti. Confetti. Pink, Hell blue, yeah. pink, blue, green. Hey, you take video of that shit and I'll make it go worldwide. Come on, <laughs> I'm going to make them an awesome camera. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful uh, thing, let me tell you. No oh, I'm there. sure it is. I'm, I'm sure it is. And for everybody, make sure you tune in to the Trucker Roundup show December the 1st, which we're not having at this Thursday show. We're all going to be out with family and again. friends. And uh, tune in for uh, uh, the girls not out. Well, they're going to have Caroline yep. Weaver Just keep and Miss about us. Misty Justice on. If yeah, if Miss Britt would shut the hell up for a minute, <laughs> you're, not supposed, you're not supposed to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> but tune in for their next show on December the first, where uh, we're going to be talking to the women behind the men in trucking and singing, having two careers out here. With this cackle box here going on. You know, you got to have the cackle box going on right here. I swear oh, to God you do. My, my damn, damn nuts hit you again. <laughs> hey, Randy, ain't you found the mute button on her yet? Uh, <laughs> no, I've been trying to get it installed, and I've just been too busy with more important things. You play the show back later, you'll realize what the hell, what the hell I'm laughing at over here. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. I can only imagine. No, I don't and think you can. that's what makes a good show. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> anyway, back to talking about me. Back to talking about you. Talking about me. Talking about my, oh, my, one-on-one. Talk about you. Talk about me. Sometimes I like to talk about you, you, you. But occasionally, I like to talk about me. Always hey, that's back a good to song. you. Oh, brother. <laughs> I hacked the song, but you got to play it. Come on now. That's the next song I want to hear. No. Come on. <laughs> this country Saturday night, baby. Come on now. Don't cough. It's okay. Don't gag on it. It's okay. You can talk about me. <laughs> we can talk about you. We can talk about us, but you won't shut up and leave us alone. So we can't talk about us because you keep taking over. 
son. Oh, occasionally I like to talk about me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the end is near. Hey, Run for your near. lives. Who put 50 pence in the twat? <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Well, you all have yourself a glorious night. I appreciate y'all taking my call and everything. And we will see you all later on in the week. Y'all have yourself a great show. Tenfo Rajo, and we be gone. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> y'all have a good. Clarence wanted to play the fiddle real bad, and he does. You are listening to the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Do you copy? Wow. Hell yeah. What That's do you mean cool he's selling that? cars? He ought to be out in the friggin' bars jamming. Yes. Give what up the cars for bars, that? dude. That's badass. I just added it to the playlist, so we'll play that a little bit more regular. Yes. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, see if he wants to come on the show. I hope he's wow. got more great tunes like that, because that's a hell of a kicker <clears> right there. My kind of music, man. Upbeat, good, get her going, get the feet moving, and yeah, chase the really woman around. Yeah, really tight. You know, really, really well done, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I, like, I it. like it tight. Yes, you do, oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Where were we? I think we're getting caught up here. Oh, right. So let's see. Oh, we had a. Don't forget about the Toby Keith one, because Bongo <sighs> wants to talk about himself. I know he wants to talk about <laughs> him. He wants to talk about he wants to talk about him and he and he <laughs> he haw. Yeehaw! You rolling with the Yankee and the Britney RTM Radio Network. Do you understand me? There you go. That ain't country. The Aaron Yankee Lewis. and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. I was going to do a two for another Aaron Lewis tune, one of my favorites, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> Because, because you know what this means if you're reading the chat at all. Where's our megaphones? Give me my megaphone, oh my quick. Oh, God, we have new quick. toys. That's we have right. toys. Chrissy, we get to test them out. We have new toys. We get to test them out on you. You, Make you, sure you, you. back the fuck off of that thing over there. You're killing me over here. Get ready. Chrissy has a ready. birthday. Now, shut up a minute. <laughs> Give me that a minute till I'm done talking over here. Give me it back. Chrissy has a birthday Tuesday, and we're not on the... <laughs> Come on, spit it out. You interrupt me one more time, I'm going to shove that fucking thing up your ass. Now shut the fuck up a minute, please. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Chrissy... <laughs> Chrissy's got a birthday Tuesday, and we're not on the air Tuesday. So she's got a request for a birthday. We're going to play that. But you know how we are. We have to do the birthday song because we're not going to be here to do it then. So <clears throat> with our new megaphones in hand, megaphone, megaphone, megaphone. just for Chrissy, one of my favorite bartenders, three, two, two one, one, hit it. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. RTM Radio Network and Blackfoot in the Highway Song 958. A little less than a minute and we are gone like a bunch of cool breezes, baby. Oh, we love you guys. Thank you, gazillions. Thank you, gazillions, man. So nice to have you all hanging out here. Nick, take care of yourself. Chrissy, thanks a million times. Shannon, thank you, dear. Cornhole, thanks for giving us a call, man. Love it. Uh, Ted, thanks, man. Turned us on to some new music. That's some great stuff, too, man. Gotta love it. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, of course, Mrs. Jib Jab and Mr. Jib Jab. Thanks for stopping by. Always glad to see you guys. Samo, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, man. Nice. Gotta love it. 
Oh, excuse me. That damn water. It shit's good, but whoo, sometimes it catches up with me. And anybody else we might have missed? Thanks, uh, Eric. Uh, let's see. Not Eric. Yes, Eric. No, uh, Eric. Um, Nightcrawler. That was it. And Shithead. And, oh, my God, the whole list. Sandy Fisher, of course. The beautiful Sandy Fisher. And Mouth was in here. And Cheryl. And let's see. Who are we forgetting? I guess we got everybody covered. Uh, Cheap jobs. Yeah. Well, I said, I said, you know, if you just pay attention once in a while. <laughs> and also to uh, Brother Grimm. And let's see, what do we got covered here? I think I said Ted. Cheryl. And all y'all, Chrissy Pentec, especially happy birthday, dear. So glad yes, uh, you came and let us know birthday. so we didn't miss it. That's cool. And to uh, Deary for hanging out with us, man. Thanks a lot. Glad you finally got to come check us out and hang out with us for a little while. Hope you come back. Don't forget, tomorrow night is Sunday. It's kind of a mishmash of whatever the hell anybody's got in mind, music kind of stuff. Uh, next Sunday on our mishmash kind of Sunday night, we're going to have Jacqueline Seymour with us. Got to come check it out. Electronic dance music. The chick is crazy. We're going to have a blast with her. Guarantee it. And the Saturday before that, country night, we are going to have... I can't think of his name. I'm waiting for you to tell me what it is. Why well, can't help but your throat hurts? I need to know his name. Point to something. Seymour, John, Bill, anything but Sue... What the hell's his name? Um, Jesus Christ, now's a hell of a fucking time to forget. You guys know who I'm talking about. Why can't I remember his name? You make it hard to pronounce. I can't hardly say it. What? I'm clear down at the bottom of the fucking list. We're really good on fucking nerves over here. What? Shelby Lee Lowe. Why didn't I think of that? Don't make faces at me. What's the matter? Your throat sore all of a sudden? Yeah, I know it. Probably shouldn't be talking as much as you did. Imagine that if you can. Uh, let's see. Anyways, I think we got everybody pretty much. Brenda, of course. There's the beautiful Brenda. I feel bad for you guys stuck up there in the snow zone, but uh, not much I can do to help you out. Up, oh, gotta go. Love you guys. Thanks a million. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Brenda has a brick. The Yank was loud. They didn't care how.